is it, Swabby? So, what you doing? Working. On? Plan B. Oh, good thinking. You said there's a scientist on Flotsam who understands manatee? Yes, Santino learned it from him. Good luck getting to Flotsam, though. I shall not leave this spot until La Esponja Grande is in my hands! All right, that's enough. Suit yourself. The Cava's Locket. Voodoo trinket or oil wrapped candy for the Nougat Center. Look all you want, but don't take it. I never noticed this before. Wonder what it does. Skybrush, the voodoo power contained within that locket is not to be meddled with. The last time you fiddled with the powers of voodoo, you stupidly unleashed the powers of... the arrow points the opposite way. This should be interesting, or fraught with peril. Aww, it looks so peaceful. Well, whew, I, I just had the most magnificent daydream. I was back in my beloved's home. Her smell still plays on my nose. Perfumes of potpourri, the brine of shrunken heads, the balm of broken souls. This voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Ah, Lupsy Daisy. <laughs> she can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. me now. I wonder what this does. Come on in. Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to... Uh, uh, Pardonnez-moi, I can't quite remember. Taking a break from playing around with my... <clears throat> with the hand of Threepwood, hmm? What? How do you know of this? How are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. I 
feel pretty. Eh, uh, that is nice. I would be going now. Wait, while you're here, I want to ask you something. What are the odds of a guy like you and a girl like me? Zero! I will never compromise my science for a bunch of phooey and a pile of chicken bones. Will that be all? Do you have any secrets you'd like to share? Perhaps concerning Monkey Island? You mean that worthless rock on top of all that lava? <laughs> Nothing. But I hear the wildlife is quite cheeky. Will that be all? I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees. And I'm not referring to your silly accent. How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. May I have this book? I feel no need to give it to you. You will just tarnish it with your mumbo-jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for the sciences. Marquis, bring me the book of the manatee language or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse. Because I am not believing in it. With that, I must go. No, it is impossible. She could not have done this to me. Hmm, perhaps I will bring her this silly textbook, just in case. Whoever could it be? It's open! I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. My motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. Now scram! Learn the enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps. Wow, who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? for a tarot card.
that was like massive instantaneous liposuction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. on that nun. Whoa, look at the mug on that nun. I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Tell me where I can find the Tongue of the Manatee, or it's time for Tibetan Tickle Torture. I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. He's telling the truth. What? I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me! Fine. Oh, look at that fish flop. Come here, you! Tino's with me on this. Yeah, we'll rot before you know anything. Solidarity, brother. Santino will snap like a twig. Two are like three times stronger than one. You'll never break either of us. You'll have to kill me. And I'm already dead. You got nothing on us, bro. Man, you can't stay tough forever. Watch me. Watch him. I need information. I'll never break. Arr! Snooky's sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember, though. You've got to believe me. I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please. He doesn't know. Oh, all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. You, Murray. His name is Santino. Uh, Santino. Throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, humble fingers. Zoinks! How loose to get up his info? Never! I revel in your frustration with my tight lipped comrade. Well, it's not so cool now, is it? Wait until we chew through your ropes of oppression and topple your puppet regime. Wow, Murray, you've gone political. I just learned all those words. 
Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. Hey, Morgan. I know you're a cutthroat pirate, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mask. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's length. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Whoa, I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, Mo. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thanks. Sorry it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... <laughs> three ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! I had it. Please, brah, don't hurt anyone else. Is this true? It's Jimbo, the i funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. I can't believe he's gone. I think this is the manatee we rode in on. He looks okay, considering. Hi, Mr. Manatee. This probably sounds like nonsense to your unevolved ear, but I think I can understand you now. What are you going through? out how to speak like a manatee so I can help this guy out and get to the sponge. Hungry fellow? That ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Oh, I haven't played bongo since my stint as a beat poet.
Tongue of the Manatee, Travel Edition. Just a dabble, do ya? Whoops. Um, actually, I don't want to talk about it. It's the travel edition. I'm going to have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy.
there it is. The legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, thwarted countless enemies, seven, give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. Huh. I thought it would be bigger. Sponja Pequeño to Elaine. Oh, I got it! We finally got it! We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I've just got to get back to her and... Knew it! Huh? No, Dacaba, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer! This is the end of the line! Really? Hear me out! The guy, I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... Gentlemen, this is why you always have a plan B. What's plan B? Very funny. Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. You're sore! Thanks! It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. If I could just reach that rope. Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding your cage? It's too far away! Can you reach the rope holding my cage? It's too far away! Can you reach the rope holding my cage? It's too far away! I'll figure something out. Better do it fast! Dakava's getting away! Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the Blade of Dragota can. Sponge! You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love! Moose, bring me my prize! Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh, right. Hey, he forgot the sponge. Act him isn't and bring her about! Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties! Hey, Morgan, they forgot the sponge! Ah. <laughs> Brush. First things first. There's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Quickly, bring up another cannon from the hold. For me to shoot the cannon and for you to surrender the sponge! Another cannon, rapidamente! Ah, 
Sorry, little buddy. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Hope you're still hungry, fella. Think about it, keeping that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. Well played, Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. Whatever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Yes, it is. to go. Grossman, that guy again? Animation? I need no animation. I live! How many numbskulls does it take to make one of these anyway? Ah, Joe Pinney, the man who taught me everything I know. Everything I know about evil. <laughs> uh, the testers. Sitting in a dark room with lava lamps and they think it's heaven. Sound? I don't want to hear it. Amy, are you really a lumberjack or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. All that pizza had no idea what kind of meat it was. Whoa! That's a filthy lie! This is my own voice! Kevin Bruner, he's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you! Like all these people had something to do with it. Boring. Raise the burning face of hell. <laughs> I alone rule the interface. I have taken control, and none shall... Hmm. Ah, feeling right as rain now, Captain. 
as refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. Captain? Oh dear. 